Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Today I'm doing my hillside heart prompts and I've got my ring and my, my journal. Let's get on with picking the prompts. And I think what I'm going to do today, instead of putting on the the little the little yellow um, post-its, I think I'll just pick it and then take it off right here and there. So let me just choose choose this one. I'll choose this one. And I'll just take it off. It's right here, this one here. And then we'll go with... Go with this one. So I'm going to choose this one now. There, that's a little bit easier. Okay, let's flip it over. This is by, this is Candy, and this was contributed by Pam Vanny. And this one is, oh, another Pam Vanny. This is Dream. <laughs> so, and he, oh my gosh, we got three in a row and they were all in different areas. So Pam's, Pam's got the, she's got the triple. Terrain, Dream, and Candy. That's quite a selection of prompts. And um, thanks Pam for, for contributing these words. And today I'm going to choose this page. <laughs> so it means I have to start fresh. I think I'll use this little clip here just to keep this down. I'll choose this page. Okay, I just dug out a what's left of a magazine that I was carrying around when we went away. And uh, I'm just looking in here. It's decorating, but you never know what you'll find. I'm looking for terrain or even candy. I have no candy in the house, so I have nothing to represent candy right now. I could draw candy, <laughs> but I'm going to see if I could find something in here. If I could find something with mountains or sort of a rocky, you know, something that gives me, not landscape. I guess it could be landscape, but let's see. Sort of showing the elevation um, what it looks like. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's not even any advertisements. I think I've pulled them all out for uh, candies, so I'm going to put that aside. I do have this paper bag, and I have this that I'm still pulling from. This is food and, or not food, yeah, food and drink. Well, here's some terrain. Hmm, that's an idea. Okay, I'll keep that. I wonder if there's candies in here. Let me take a look. Take a quick look. There's great imagery in here. Lots of really good words. Uh, let me take this out. I can put that in there. These are cookies, so that's not candy. Oh, here's some candies. Here's some candies right here. I would call this candy. It's chocolate, but it's also candy. Okay, let me take this out. Using what I have, trying to not venture too far into my my magazine. Well, I don't have that many magazines. Terrain, that's not terrain, that's ocean. <laughs> I don't think that's called terrain. Oh, there's some terrain. <laughs> okay. More candies. Are there more candies? Let's see. Those are good. Those are good candies, or candy. I guess I was thinking, for me, candy. When I think of candy, I think of you know, sour patch and um, hard candies like peppermints and that that kind of thing. Maybe there's peppermints in here. You never know. And there's some candy there. That's fudge. Now, I have this. This is terrain. So terrain is, it, the uh, description is a stretch of land that shows the physical elements of it. 
That's sort of my my understanding. So here we have a stretch of land or a stretch of landscape. We have mountains here. We have mountains, but we also have some some grass. So I'm going to use that because I already pulled it out. There's no point in trying to look further. I think that's fine. Then my candy is going to be these, and I love that. So yes, it's from magazine, but that's great. Now dream. Well, dream can be. It can be you know what I what I'm dreaming of. Look at this lady here. Without maybe without the wine glass, but she can be dreaming of I don't know what. I, I'm going to use that. So I think that's pretty fun. I'm going to put this down too. A little bit of this paper that I have. This was coffee, coffee dyed, coffee stained. packaging that I just grabbed and threw into some coffee stain, coffee bath, I mean. Okay, I'll do that. And I do have my glue stick. I'll just add some more. And I'm just putting this down as a base. I have no idea how it will end up that's a start just getting something down and I'm going to take my tear ruler or just my ruler Now, I don't think I'm going to use that fellow there. Although I could put him, let's see here. We'll just take him off. This one here. This is terrain. This is terrain. Okay, I think I'm going to use this green color to to help with the uh, with the page. So I'm going to. I'm just Digging out some, I don't have any green green in here. I don't think I do anyway. It doesn't have to be that color of green, does it? Let me see. Maybe I'll do some. I'm going to use my finger. And I can add, uh, I can add some, add some gray to that just to see if I can. I love using my finger. <laughs> just like the feel of it. Okay, that's good there. And now this is very bright, but I'm going to use a little bit of this fluorescent. I'm just mixing it as I go. I'm going to leave this down here. Well, a little bit anyway. <laughs> 
drop by drop. Okay. Gray and the Key West that I've been using a lot. And then I also used the Neon Yellow. This is called Neon Yellow. I keep calling it green. But while this is drying, I'm going to cut out my, I'm going to fussy cut my candies out. want to use this lovely coffee staining oh it's so fun when you open up your your magazines and find something to work with with for the prompts I like that okay that's all kinds of terrain just going to get my edges um, inked up. And if you're an artist, if, you, if you're participating or if you want to try these prompts, and of course with anything, if you already have that artistic ability to draw, that would be fantastic. And I think she's going to, you know what? She's pretty perfect right there with that background. I think I'm going to take her. She's dreaming. It's a fun collage session. <laughs> well, let's see how I can piece this together. I think this is, yeah, this is good now. Oh, this part over here, a little bit. Well, this was part of the same magazine, so that's, I think I'll leave that the way it was. Well, I like the way this looks. It just, she looks dreamy and, and like she's sitting on, I just like that, like the clouds of candy. And yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this. I don't know if I'm going to use these right now. This is terrain here. She could be on, could be moving this up a little bit like that. She could be reclining on the, on the candies. Maybe like that. I'm going to tear that. And then I'm also, I will just use the page over here.
just looking at the way I have these images placed and I I feel like I should take off the flowers here and then just have her resting here with the on the sofa which is pretty close to this color I think that would be better just to have her yeah I think that's what I'll do just take those flowers off very intense here <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I have to start gluing it down. I'm going to glue it down a little bit with my with my glue stick. Actually, what I want to do here is put, I think I'll do it like that, then her hand's resting on there. Okay, that's a good one. Now these ones here, I like the placement there. This glue seems to be working really well, so I'll just leave it with this glue right now. and line up the the terrain to it so that it matches and then this is peeking out Now for this one, I will use my art glitter glue. Doesn't matter what stage we are, we always have dreams. looking up here. That's why I tilted her. Fun. <laughs> I just found this 26 in the heart and the 26 is my birthday. Not this month. <laughs> but I thought I would cut that out. My birthday is coming up. It's in the spring. There we go. Probably could cut it a little bit better. So I did find that. I'm going to put that in there. The other thing I found was I have these these stickers. I kind of forget about them too, so I'll have to keep these out. But I'm looking for something with, oh, Daylight Dreams. Look at that. That's fun. I'm going to have to put that on. Daylight Dreams. And isn't it fun that this is the right color a contented spirit daylight dreams okay 
Okay, I'm just doing some dots down here. I have no idea, I love dots. And you know what? I'm not going to use the black. I'm going to use a purple. And I don't have a purple Stabilo, but I do have I do have a purple eye pencil. Let's see if that works. Just a smudge, I like to smudge. I have the paint, I have this fun paper, and then the magazine items. So this, this was for my mom's, my mom's old makeup that I kept because she had bought this a long time ago and never used it. And it is an excellent way to, just to add some, some marks and some, some um, edging. You can use it for so many different things. This is today's page for the Hillside Heart Prompts, and I chose, I picked out Dream, Candy, and Terrain, all from the same person, Pam Vanny, and that just happens sometimes. And I went ahead and used my scrap magazine and also a catalog um, that I've been pulling from to to get the candy and to get this lady here. I also pulled out this um, terrain here, mountains and some more mountains. And then also the number 26, I did some journaling and I did a little bit of mark making. I used my, an old eye pencil for just going around the edges here a little bit it's purple or violet and I did some painting also with the brown paper bag so that was just all came together I love the way it came together just a fun very fun page but very relaxing to me too and so the dream is here daylight dreams and I also chose the contented spirit so it just brings it all together and also want to say thank you everyone for well, I hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration and um, to create freely and with no pressure and just to dig out your supplies, whatever you have, old eye pencils, it doesn't matter, your magazines, your catalogs, all your scraps, paint, you can do with a little bit of it or some of it, doesn't matter. And I just really appreciate you for coming along today. Stay adventurous and be cozy. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.